Now, yeah. do you want to discuss about Lola Bunny? Mm. Yeah. The so bunny. Give, us the, give us the skinny. What's what's going on? Skinny. Well, yeah, no. she ain't skinny no more. <laughs> what? Why don't you uh, describe Lola Bunny then? <laughs> uh, oh, well, go on, give context. Go on. Uh. So Lola uh, Bunny, I'm, I'm here delegating. Beloved classic Looney Tunes character. She uh, first premiered in, she debuted her role in Space Jam as a very sexually attractive bunny rabbit <laughs> who uh, plays, but she's a basketball pro. You know, and despite the despite the obvious, you know, like unlikely, unlikely body proportions, you know, the bunnies have big boobs and big voluptuous bum cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, that's pretty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a stupid subject. Leon, what's your take on the on, on the normalization of well, well, so um, they've they've um, they've they've given her a heavy breast reduction surgery for this uh, this redesign. Yeah. Uh, like Scarlett Johansson under the skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so uh, you know, I get, I get it, I get it. They want to, they want to like uh, divert the male gaze and whatever. You know, you yeah. sexualizing uh, children's cock. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But it, it implies, oh no, it, it, it implies that there's an, an, an inherent like um, malevolence to having breasts, like for mm-hmm. for, for, any, for any for any woman like. Who happen happens to have a you know a bit more of a voluptuous sort of yeah. or whatever like like they're, they're they're I don't know they're they're letting the side down or something by having breasts it's it's an odd one maybe on both I think it... there you go what were you gonna say Jeff no I was gonna say you you mentioned that it's a slight against the male gay oh it's a slight against um women with larger breasts but isn't the issue more there are already characters with large breasts you can look at laura croft but but she's also undergone the same redesign where they've reduced true true yeah from triangle to to large and then to small which triangle is the most unrealistic one but going back to my point um you mentioned it's a slight against the male gaze Mm -hmm. when uh, there are well, there obviously are women in the world with smaller breasts. Mm-hmm. I mean, they sh- should they get more representation as well? Personally, I would say yes. But yeah, also, really are you assigning an inherent sexual a sexuality to large breasts? Are large mm. breasts more sexual because they are large, and well, small breasts is- are not so much because they're small? Well, this is my point as to the the redesign. This is what I'm. Um... This is what I'm refuting: is the the idea that of them making these redesigns. It's an it's a uh, it's 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 associating sexuality to to those breasts. Like there was no real need to change. I it think the fil- I think the out. film I think the film associated enough sexuality to those breasts. But you see, like oh, sure. it, Bugs true. Bunny has the biggest hard on for this thing for this for this character. Okay. So even even Michael Jordan. Has a bit of a stiffy for Lola Bunny in the film. I, I guess then it really comes to a, a, a element of like demonizing um, sexuality itself. Then, yeah, mm. is, is, is it like <laughs> is, it, is it bad? I just, I just thought of some of that. We haven't seen the film yet. Maybe like in the maybe in the new Space Jam, they're gonna like hype up how small her boobs are. Oh, it's like a it's a fetish. Maybe maybe she'll still be fetish. <laughs> maybe Bugs Bunny will have like a. <laughs> maybe Bugs Bunny's gonna have a scene where he talks about how much he likes small breasts on a woman, and then Lola Bunny walks in after getting a reduction surgery. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh yes." <laughs> oh goodness me! <laughs> well, oh, fuck, I'm turning right. red again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if if there are if there is sexualization to be done in cinema, 
which yeah. you could uh, there could be a case to be made that yeah it's a tool like any other like uh, mm. titillation or at least objectification is looney tunes really the place for oh, that oh god no oh no <laughs> put it in put it in rom-com well, see my, 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 my problem is though like again um yeah pro you probably don't want to be sexualizing things for kids and stuff right but uh for instance, in the in the Powerpuff Girls reboot, right? Uh, do you, you remember you remember Sarah Bellum from the original Powerpuff Girls, right, guys? Is she the mayor's assistant? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, but you know, she she was she also was like a, the sort of <laughs> strong. She was a strong role model for the girls and stuff, right? Yeah, she's in good. The, in, she the was... reboot, in the reboot, they straight up just removed her. Like they, she's just mm. not a character anymore because uh, you know she had a big old bum. She had, yeah, she had, she had oh, my album. So <laughs> that's a shame. Okay. I, I don't know whether this is the hill I want to die on, you know, for, for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you've joked, mate. This is your, this is the side you're coming from. Yeah, this is, this is, this is. Bunny this is... tit defender, Leon Grimes. <laughs> I mean, like, the, the trouble, yeah, the trouble with gonna... Space Jam, the trouble with guys with Space Jam is that they've done a, they've done it in the wrong way, they've done the wrong, the wrong way around. Because when people watch Space Jam, when, who's going to watch Space Jam now? The people who watched it when they saw it when it came out, they're going to be old. They're at the age now where they can handle tits. They're going to want bunny tits. <laughs> We're going to want bunny tits. Yeah. Like, like, like make Lola Bunny like you know, flat chested in the original. And then, and then when the remake comes up, you know, like have a, like have these real defined characteristics, have bugs, have like a bulge <laughs> stuff. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry like but that's the, that's the way they should have gone really you know you think like logically hmm. Space Jam really wasn't that good in, uh, yeah. in retrospect no it's no it's it's just a big advert for Nike isn't it yeah yeah like I don't know nar narratively it's just it, back uh, Looney Tunes back in action was way better but got way less clout yeah um, I don't know. I feel, I feel like the jokes and the like the the way it looked was better. I need to watch it again, but I remember trying to watch it recently and thinking like the stuff, the story, and the writing, the pacing of back in action is like all over the place. But Brendan Fraser. That's true. He had his chance. <laughs> Here's another thing that's a bit weird. As sexualized as she is, Lola Bunny. Is always wearing clothes. Bugs mm. Bunny, there are a lot of times <laughs> when he just isn't. Yeah, he's walking around starkers, and Mate. he's not sexualized. Imagine if, imagine if he took Lola Bunny's clothes off. She like, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> like, no, like, hear me out, hear me out. Like that. Bugs, <laughs> Bugs Bunny's naked, like you said, Jeff. Bugs Bunny's naked. Mm. He ain't got pecs, he ain't got a bulge. It's because nothing going on. Right, Lola, Lola Bunny, like, like they're creating the idea that if you just peeled away that tube top, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty disgusting when you think about it. It is kind of, it is inherently gross, isn't it? You know, it's, it's homosexualizing. Mm. But at the same time, I, I feel like I personally don't know anyone who. Has an issue with Lola Bunny. 